The Intellectual Agrarian presents Plowing Through History, the show that answers the question, what have farmers been doing all these years? Today, we'll be answering that question about ancient Rome and the ancient Romans. The Romans believed in agriculture very deeply, viewing it as the ideal life for anyone. Cicero, a famous politician and orator, wrote, Of all the occupations by which gain is secured, none is better than agriculture, none more profitable, none more delightful, none more becoming to a free man. It sounds like a sentiment many of today's politicians will agree with, but likely with less sincerity. During the early days of the empire, the land was extremely fertile, with only about four and a half acres required to sustain a Roman farmer and his family. Much like we do today, the Romans raised a variety of crops ranging from corn, wheat, barley, apples, and olives. Small farmsteads could be seen peppering the countryside of Italy, raising crops for their own consumption and selling whatever extra they may have had to the towns and cities around them. When the time for taxes came to be paid, farmers were allowed to pay in both coin and food. Wouldn't it be fun to see today's farmers pay their taxes in corn and broccoli? As time passed on though, the farmsteads of Rome began to disappear leading to larger and larger estates of land held within the possession of a few wealthy citizens. And while there are a few concrete facts, we are talking about ancient Rome after all, it is believed that this was due to increasing debts taken on by farmers who tried to hold on to their land during the succeeding crop failures at the time. But why were there crop failures if the land was fertile? To answer that question, we have to dive into the grab bag of theories on the decline of Rome. Historians such as Pliny and Columna noted during their lifetimes a decline in the production of grains and a general exhaustion of the soils. Summarizing their works, Frank Tenney said in a paper entitled Agriculture in Early Latium, It is therefore evident that the steady shrinkage of population and the crumbling of the empire cannot be attributed to wars. It stands to reason that permanent desertion of entire countrysides cannot be caused by temporary devastations of war. For war cannot rob the fields of their fertility. Exhaustion of the soil, on the other hand, will lead to its desertion in times of peace, and of course still more so in times of war. Without a healthy soil to maintain their crop production, Rome had to draw upon its dominions to supply the necessary grains that they needed to survive. In the time of Cato, Sicily had become the granary of the empire, with northern Africa and Spain eventually following suit. In time, it became necessary to conquer, not for the sake of empire, but for the sake of food. In another paper, Rome's Fall Reconsidered, Vladimir Sinkovich of Columbia University wrote, In Italy, labor could not support life, and men and women were not reared to maintain the population and Rome's dominion over the world. Yet Rome's livelihood was its dominion. It lived, as Seneca put it, on the spoils of all nations. Without the tendrils of empire to draw food from its dominions, Italy didn't have the internal agriculture to survive for long. The once vast small farmers with fields of grain were steadily replaced by large landowners with pasture for livestock. In the story of Rome, we find how agriculture can influence nations in ways we don't think of today. In the United States, we're blessed to have a large amount of internal agriculture, but some islands like Great Britain don't always have that luxury. The exhaustion of the soil in Rome led to the necessity of a conquering empire, and fed its armies with displaced farming freemen. And while this wasn't the only thing that contributed to Rome's decline, the fading of its farms was yet another wound that led to its eventual death and decline. Thanks for watching. Click the video to your right to watch something exactly like this. Click the video to your left to watch something different. We hope you've enjoyed, and let's keep farming the dream.